Hi everybody, after a short break, it is time for another episode about the Yoktu project and Open Embedded on Raspberry Pi 5. In episode number 8, we're gonna talk about Common, an open source network manager specially designed for embedded Linux devices. The first step, obviously, is to add common to our image. The recipe for common is part of layer open embedded core, which is part of Pocky, the reference distribution of the Yocto project, which I'm using in my setup. If you have watched the previous seven episodes of this series about the Yocto project and open embedded on Raspberry Pi, you know that my setup also includes several additional layers, most notably Meta Open Embedded and Meta Raspberry Pi, which is the community maintained BSP layer that provides the machine configuration for Raspberry Pi 5. The Yocto project is tightly integrated with Git, so as you can see in the video, I'm running Git pull to make sure that these layers are up to date. After that, I initialize the build environment with the source command and using Vim, my favorite text editor, I've edited confloco.conf. All I had to do was one line. By appending to the variable image underscore install, I added conman and the conman client to the image that I'm going to build. After saving this modification to loco.conf, I have to type in bitbake core image base and the build process will start. The conman-client package is part of the recipe conman and it provides the command line interface for interacting with conman and I'm going to use it during the demonstration in this video to connect to a Wi-Fi network from my Raspberry Pi 5. This is an incremental build, which means that I am reusing the existing shared state, the downloads directory, therefore I'm building just the new things, the conman uh, recipe and adding it to the image. However, it still takes some time, so thanks to the magic of video editing, first I'm going to fast forward and after that skip some parts that are a little bit boring. Let me remind you that the Yocto project is a collaborative project of the Linux Foundation that uses the open embedded build framework and provides a tool called Bitbake. We're using Bitbake to build our image called Core Image Base. This image includes also the Linux firmware files required for the Wi-Fi on the Raspberry Pi 5. In order to get all the things required for Raspberry Pi 5, we are using Meta Raspberry Pi community maintained board support package layer. The Yocto project has uh, releases twice per year. However, there are also long-term support releases and the latest stable and greatest long-term support release is ScarpGov. It was released in April 2024 and it will be maintained until April 2028. After successfully building core image base, the next step is to flush it on a micro SD card. In the previous seven tutorials, I used DD and a lot of people were asking me and recommending to switch to BMAP2, which is actually a great idea because BMAP2 is an open source tool that is optimized for faster flushing of micro SD cards. This is exactly what I used this time. I'm running Ubuntu on my build machine, so I've installed the BMAP2 and after that I've executed it with the copy argument to copy the uh, wick bz uh, file to the uh, drive that is for the microSD card. Common is an open source network manager with common line interface for embedded Linux devices. The project started more than a decade ago and initially it was developed by Intel. Nowadays there are various contributors to it. The source code is written in C, it's available in Git repositories hosted at kernel.org. Common is used in various embedded Linux distributions and various devices, for example in automotive grade Linux. I have configured and enabled a temporary Wi-Fi network as a Wi-Fi hotspot on my Android phone. The name of the network is Yocto and the password is Open Embedded. I plugged in the microSD card that was flushed on the previous step in the video and I've powered on the Raspberry Pi 5 by inserting an appropriate USB-C power supply. I also have this dongle to measure the uh, current and the voltage coming from this USB-C power supply. 
The rest of the gadgets on my desk that you see are a ThinkPad T14 Generation 1 laptop, a USB to UART dongle for serial communication with the Raspberry Pi 5, because at this moment the Raspberry Pi 5 is not connected to a monitor, there is no mouse, no um, keyboard, and also there is no network, so the only way to communicate with it is over serial communication uh, using UART. On my desk, I also have Anavi Macropad 10. This is a mechanical keyboard, actually a keypad that I have designed with KiCad. It's entirely open source hardware. And now it has a brand new 3D printed case, which re looks really cool. However, it's totally not related to this video and I just want to show off. On this ThinkPad T14, which you have seen in my previous videos, I have installed Ubuntu. I opened a terminal and using the screen application, I am interacting with the Raspberry Pi 5 over UART. I've logged in as root on the Raspberry Pi 5. For easier debugging, my setup requires no password. Now comes the interesting part, so we better have a closer look at it. Now, pay close attention to the commands that I'm executing in the terminal. By the way, they are also available as text in the description of the video. The Wi-Fi interface has been enumerated as WLAN 0. First, I have to unblock it and after that to bring it up with the IP command. In order to enter the interactive shell of the command client, I have to execute the command control command, which is spelled as C O W N M A N C T L. My setup has no VPN, so this error message that's printed on the screen is harmless and we can ignore it. So inside the interactive shell of the command client, I've typed in technologies. You see that the Wi-Fi is powered on, but just in case, I've typed in enable Wi-Fi to guarantee that the Wi-Fi is fully functional. The next command that I've executed is scan with the argument Wi-Fi. As the name suggests, it will search for Wi-Fi networks. After that, I've typed in services to list all the results of the found Wi-Fi networks. There is a long list of Wi-Fi networks. Basically, now you know the names of the Wi-Fi networks that my neighbors are using. One of the networks is Yocto. This is the hotspot that I've launched on my Android phone earlier on in the video. I typed in connect following by the identifier of this Wi-Fi network. After that, I've, I was asked about the password. So I entered open embedded. The connection was successful. And you can see that now WLAN 0 is successfully connected uh, to the Wi-Fi network provided by my phone. Please know that as part of the commands to connect, I've also typed in agent on inside the command client uh, interactive interface. This turns on the agent for managing uh, the Wi-Fi connections. I ran the IP command and I saw that an IP address has been given to the WLAN 0 interface on the Raspberry Pi 5. After that, I ran the ping command uh, to ping my personal blog, anavi.org. My second test with ping was with 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. This is the public Google DNS server, which is useful for this type of connectivity quick tests. As you have seen, I have successfully established a Wi-Fi connection using the command client, but let me share with you some tips and tricks for troubleshooting. The first troubleshooting guide is in case you type in scan Wi-Fi inside the command client and as a result you get error slash net slash command slash technology slash Wi-Fi not implemented. This error is caused because the WLAN 0 interface has not been brought up before entering the command client. So the solution is simple. Exit the command client and enter the command IP link set WLAN 0 up. After that, you can enter again the command client and this time you can successfully scan for Wi-Fi networks. As you can see, the fix worked and Conman connected to the known Wi-Fi network Yocto. So actually the real problem is that the system doesn't bring up the WLAN 0 interface automatically at boot. One of the disadvantages in my particular setup for Raspberry Pi 5 is that I have to manually bring up the Wi-Fi interface when the board boots. And this is a little bit annoying. So we can create a configuration and we can bring up the Wi-Fi interface automatically as soon as the board boots. If you remember, since the very beginning of these tutorials about the Yocto project on Raspberry Pi 5, I have been building 
core image base with systemd. Systemd is the most important process as it starts with pit number one. After that, it starts various other services and takes care of a lot of things, including the network configurations. Because of this, I am going to create a network configuration file for WLAN0. It will be called slash ATC slash systemd slash network slash 10-wlan.network. It is a plain any style text file divided into sections. In my case, I need just two sections, match to match the WLAN0 interface and another section called network to make sure that DHCP is on. This means that the Raspberry Pi 5 should be automatically assigned with an IP address. I saved this network file and rebooted the system. As a result, I no longer need to manually execute the IP up command for the WLAN0 interface. This is done automatically, systemd takes care for this and conman connects automatically to the known Wi-Fi network, in this case the hotspot from my Android phone that I've configured previously in the video. By the way, if you want as a next step, you can integrate this systemd network configuration as part of your Yocto setup so that it can be built as part of the image. One more thing, for quite some time there is an open GitHub pull request in Meta Raspberry Pi that fixes error messages in DMessage related to the Broadcom firmware. I hope that it will be soon merged in master and after that cherry picked to scarpgaf. So let's summarize what we've learned in this video. Conman is an open source network manager with command line interface for embedded Linux devices. We've learned how to add Conman and its client to an image built with the Yocto project and open embedded. The particular demonstrations were with core image base, which includes the required Linux firmware for the Wi-Fi. Keep this in mind if you're building another image, for example, core image minimo does not include it. As part of the demonstrations in the video, I've showed you how to use the interactive interface of the common client. Thank you for watching this video. Now you know what is Conman, how to use it with the Yocto project and open embedded, and I have demonstrated this on Raspberry Pi 5. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have any recommendations for future videos, please also leave a comment below. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and hit the like button. Stay tuned for new videos.